hi everyone today i'm going to show you how to make animated illusion and to do that we have to be using we will be using for loop to make a grid so to start with we will be making for loop first and we will be using the line to do that so the loop will have will start from zero and it will keep re repeating till thousand and then it will have a spacing I will say spacing of six and it will have the spacing of six now the lines I want to appear vertically so for that it will occupy all the axis faces so for repeating x uh, the line i need my eyes uh, i to be in the x axis so x1 will get one eye and then then my x y1 will be starting from zero and then the x2 will have another eye for repeating it and the y2 will have the height in it and i will also give it a stroke color which is black and a stroke weight very important and then i'm going to run it and you can have you can see their vertical lines which you can see on your screen now to test this out that how it will look let's make our next shape so we will make another for loop separately and we will do the same stuff with that as well just one thing we have to remember to do in that that we will not repeat the same variable name so we will be saying if i we have used in this so we will be using the j in this and it will not let's say start from zero it starts from 100 we want a very small bunch of lines so and it will go to two, uh, 200 not 300 200 and it will have the same spacing as before of six it will again be a line let's give it a stroke first stroke of red color and the line will have the same way it will also be appearing that j then zero then j and then uh, oh sorry the y will be changed it will be then also just like the x we are putting the j is starting from 100 the y also start from 100 and it will go also to 200 so it doesn't appear to be the whole big bunch of lines small pair of lines so let's see so yeah this is this is a good pair of lines and uh, now we will make another pair of lines and for that we will make another pair of this so and this time I'm going to copy this because this is much more similar than the other one Oops, I did a bit of a mistake there so I'm going to copy this again now I'm going to paste it that's better And after I'm doing that, I'm going to change all the variables. That's very important to change it, otherwise it will give you an error. The thing to change in this is if it's appearing at 200, uh, so let's make it appear at 200 and it should be at 300 and again in the y also 200 and then 300 position and let's see it's 
this is not red this is blue so now you can see my two boxes are there and you can see all the lines and everything there and if you can notice that these lines when you will make you these lines will appear in the middle of the black lines uh, why they are there you will when you move your mouse across you will see why they are there let's make it move and see how they will look and how they will uh, appear when I use my mouse so for making my mouse to work make the lines move so I'm going to go in my first one which is the black lines one code so let's write this black lines so we remember this this is black lines this is for the blue lines blue and this is for the red okay so I'm going to add mouse X to my blue lines and I'm not adding actually I'm minusing it uh, why because I when I move across it will keep on moving it will not disappear the mouse X will not just finish off at the end of the canvas it will keep on moving you will see when I do this and let's try to get the code so that you can see much clearly now yeah that's better now you can see the whole code much clearly and now we will run it so now my lines are there and I'm going to move it and you can see sometimes my blue box appearing and sometimes it's disappearing sometimes my red box is disappearing and blue is appearing sometimes they both are appearing so you can see they both are there but you can only see them when you move at a certain position then you can see them both together like with this position and then at a certain position you can see one of them and the other is gone and then you move and then you can see one of them the other is gone so you can make this kind of illusion with simple line code nothing else so you can play around and with this and make them you can make lines you can make rectangles with this so instead of lines I can even use rectangle I can even use circle to be there for circle I will prefer that whatever grid you are using use the same kind of a grid over also so if I'm using a line I will use a line over if I'm using a circle I will use a circle if I'm using a rect I can use line as well to move it and make them like this so hope you like this and enjoy making it so thank you and bye